In this video, we will focus on preparing the data for input to algorithms capable of learning word embeddings. In the previous videos, we used counting words and their co-occurrences as an abstraction mechanism for deriving numerical representations for words. In this video, we will explore an alternative abstraction mechanism, that is, using an algorithm to learn representations for words directly from the data. Using an algorithm requires us to represent our data using numbers. And to do so, we will use a technique called one-hot encoding. To get started, we will import the NumPy library as np and define a placeholder dictionary for holding the lemmas and their one-hot encoded vectors. We then loop over the list of unique lemmas prepared in the previous videos and count the items in the list using Python's enumerate function. We then use the zeros function from NumPy to create a vector whose shape matches the size of our vocabulary. These vectors as the method suggests, are filled with zeros. We then access the dimension of the vector that matches the number of the item that we're currently looping over and set its value to 1. We then store a value into the dictionary with the lemma as the key and the one-hot encoded vector as the value. We also print out the vectors and the corresponding lemmas at the end of the loop. This gives us vectors in which one dimension encodes the identity of a given lemma. So for example, the first lemma in our vocabulary, Estonia, is always encoded by the first dimension. So the first dimension has to have a value of 1 if the lemma in question is Estonia. Correspondingly, if we have a lemma such as Helsinki, then the third dimension of the vector has to be 1, whereas all others are 0. Now that we have a way of representing individual lemmas using vectors, we start to collect information about the neighbors of individual tokens in the data. We then loop over each spacey doc object in our list of doc objects named docs and loop over each token in the doc and examine its neighbors using the nbor or neighbor method as explained in the previous video. What we do here is we collect information on tokens and their neighbors into pairs which consist of the current token and its neighbors and we then add their lemmas into the list pairs as a python tuple. This gives us a list of tuples that consist of string objects that occur within two tokens of one another. We can think of the first token as the target lemma, whereas the second token constitutes the context lemma. This is the information that we want to provide to the neural network. In other words, given a target lemma, we want to predict which context lemmas occur close to the target lemma. So what we're going to do next is we loop over the list pairs and examine each target and context lemma, but only give the target lemma and its corresponding vector from the lemma underscore vectors dictionary. We then use NumPy's vStack method to stack the vector representations for each target lemma into a matrix. Finally, we examine the shape of the resulting matrix, which has 118 rows, and each row consists of a 23-dimensional vector. And these are naturally our one-hot encoded vectors for the target lemmas. We then repeat the same operation to the context lemmas and end up with two matrices which both have 118 rows, so each target lemma is matched by its context lemma, and both are encoded using a one-hot encoded vector. 
In the next video, we are going to use these two matrices for the target and context lemmas to train a small neural network. I hope you found this video useful, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks.